If sub-Dunbar communities are vulnerable to destabilizing forces, how does a small group reach post-Dunbar numbers without falling apart? Ah, well, this is this is a good question. It represents uh, something of a of a real insight. So almost all of the people that are working in this particular thing have encountered some variation of this problem. Um, and and the idea is is that how do you make a large group uh, accept by assembling them out of smaller groups? But that encodes an assumption that turns out not to be true. I could just as easily form a large group by partitioning an even larger group. And these larger groups already exist. So, for example, um, one way that, that that something like this could happen is, uh, you know, and, and again, this is a little bit far fetched at this point, but but say, um, you know, there's a lot of people in the world, right? There's 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 billions of people. Uh, maybe over some period of time, you uh, find a collection of some ten thousand of them, who are all really interested in culture development, and who are all really interested in intentional communities. And and by the way, that's not that unrealistic. I mean, if I go on the internet right now and I, and I look at the sheer number of groups that are either involved in or want to form or want to become part of some community, there's actually a lot of people. Community is a is a pretty uh, interesting topic for for a great number of people. So I might say, okay, let's put together a mailing list, and then. You know, of that 10,000 people or so on a mailing list, which is, you know, a pretty small list, all things considered, it doesn't have to be mailing. It could be some, um, you know, group online, you know, like a like a Twitter forum or or maybe a Reddit forum or or some other, you know, there's, there's lots of, of um, bulletin board type systems out there. So in effect, there's a, uh, a notion that all I need to do is to, out of that 10,000 people, find the 500 or so that are ready to start this year and who have made some commitment to the process that would be uh, roughly the equivalent of showing up in some specific way. And so in that sense, I can coalesce a post-Dunbar group more or less at a moment, at an instant. See, the problem with accretion models, or one of the problems with accretion models, is that you know, if I if I start small, the people that showed up first are going to have seniority of some sort or another for anybody that shows up later. So in a sense, you know, the the the, the, the earlier members of a group have a kind of prestige value over people that show up in the group later. And, and, and so in effect, if you have everybody show up at the same time, they're more or less an equal relationship with one another. You don't already have a hierarchy built in. So in effect, you can bootstrap into governance architectures that are far more um, distributed because they started from a distributed orientation to begin with. So it's easier to uh, take a distributed structure and maintain it than it is to try to bootstrap a, a, a distributed structure out of a hierarchical one. I don't know that there's a way to get um, you know, a kind of fundamental symmetry out of a kind of fundamental asymmetry. Right? It's it's probably just as difficult to get asymmetry from symmetry as it is to get symmetry from asymmetry. So 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 in this sense, there's a um, there's just sort of this recognition that there are ways to do it. It just doesn't look like the usual way of going. 